Greetings. This is a short video. I wanted to go over the, the module framework and how to install modules. So if you go to the modules tab by clicking on modules, this is not going to look much different than it did before. This area is all the same, but there is some differences underneath the hood. So the help module, the parrot module, and the echo link module as of version 2.1.0 and up are what we refer to as core modules. They cannot be removed. So you can see the parrot module here is currently uh, not active and there's no delete button. And then up at the top, you're going to see upload install new module button. Then there's also a button over here to find modules on openrepeater.com. If you click that, we'll open up a new tab here. And you can see the remote relay module is now an uh, optional module. And there's going to be actual additional modules added in the future. We have some in the works. So if we go ahead and we'll go ahead and use remote relay as an example here and download it and it's going to download with the actual version number of the module 1.1 go ahead and close that and go back here if you go to upload and install new module and I'm just going to drag my zip file in here and upload and just take it a second here and you'll see it says the remote relay module has been successfully installed. To use it, you must activate it. And to activate the module, you simply just click the activate button here. And to deactivate it, you would do the same. And now you see this one is an add-on module, so it does have a delete option. So you can delete the module unlike a core module like the parrot module or help or echo link. So we'll go ahead and activate it again. And if your module does have a settings page, you can go into it. And it will vary from module to module, but it will look something like this. So I'm not going to go into the remote relay module specifics. I'm just going to go ahead and set a dummy GPIO pin here. And with most modules, you'll just need to submit the settings. Then it should return back. And after you're done updating your module, activating it, and setting any possible settings, you would go up to the top and do the rebuild and restart. And your module should be ready to use. If you have a module that has DTMF codes, it has a shortcut link here that will take you to the DTMF re reference page. And it will show you the associated uh, commands for that module. And that is pretty much it for the modules. And installing them is pretty straightforward. Thanks for watching. Yeah.